Hey everybody, it is June 23rd, 2023. Uh, it is calculation day, the third calculation day we've had since token launch. Uh, before we get into anything else, let's look at the chart as always. We're currently trading at 9.48 cents, $720 volume, and 169 holders, which is up two from yesterday. I did notice a lot of small transactions coming in. A um, couple $7, $25, a 9 22 So I think people just kind of getting started on their uh, passive income journey, which is great to see. There's the corporate wallet. It did its thing today at about noon, raised $98. Let's see if we can look at the buy swap all right so this is the buy swap uh, which is pretty much the same uh, they did six transactions $85 and I can't see baby doge on here that's I'd have to go on coin market cap to see that we can do that some other time um, Let's look at the MetaMask, the uh, RHT tax wallet, raised $702.21. Go to Robinhood. Uh, another down day today, down $343. Uh, we got pretty close to even on the day, uh, but a couple things. We're probably going to just let Coinbase go because... If we rolled Coinbase, here, let me do it for you here quick. I just didn't think there was a whole lot of sense in rolling Coinbase. Let's see if we roll that to, we're at a $53. And like I said in yesterday's video, this stock is volatile as hell. So maybe next week we can buy back at, you know, $53, $54 again. But see, if we were to roll this, We'd only get $54 and tie up our money for another week. So I think it would be smarter for us to just take take the cash um, and then kind of keep going on our United Rentals uh, investment idea. Which the vote is still going on, by the way. I will link to that in the description. So let's see. Robinhood, we will keep. It's not going to get called away on us. Goldman Sachs, we will keep. Norwegian Cruise Lines, that could go either way. Well, we'll probably end up keeping that. And Stone Corp, that's probably going to get called away on us. So we'll have probably about $16,000 worth of buying power on Monday that we can put into United Rentals and get that going. I was able to confirm that we have a $250 dividend coming in from Goldman Sachs. Let me see if I can find that again. I think it was down in the history here. Oh, there it is. Dividend from Goldman Sachs, $250, and that gets posted on June 29th. So that will be on the next um, reward cycle. Go to the YouTube channel. We've been putting in a lot of new videos, me and Mage have. Uh, he's mainly doing shorts. I'm doing, um, well, I posted a bunch of music yesterday. Of bands that uh, my company has helped produce and we own the copyrights to them so like on this one we get actually paid on the video and on the audio so we're kind of double dipping on that one <laughs> um, this says ineligible because that's uh, uh, on the audio side we elected to keep all the revenue so we're still getting all the revenue from that. It's just getting uh, funneled to CD Baby instead of YouTube. And same with this one. 
the audio just gets all the all the revenue video gets none so let's see the analytics we're really only worried about the last seven days minus 53 subscribers <laughs> I think a lot of the ship people are kind of jumping ship on this since we uh, kind of went all in on the royalty TV thing um, it seems like a lot of them have kind of just left which is fine they can do whatever they want we do have a lot more views than normal 142 percent more uh, about the same hour views and two dollars and four cents revenue yesterday we did 42 cents or er, two days ago we did 42 cents yesterday we did 39 cents still waiting on this one that's processing Hundred uh, $1.97 of that was from YouTube. Seven cents was from Shorts. Highest earning content was actually the June 4th introduction video, which is pretty interesting. And then the June 20th portfolio update, which I think... Yeah, that's an old one too. I don't know why. And then the rise and fall of Howard Johnson's. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, I did start a short um, thing when I was in SHIB uh, called Business Bits. I released like five or six videos of that. I would like to get back into that just so we have more content, more stuff for people to look at. Maybe we're getting revenue from people that really don't even care about crypto. I mean, I think that's kind of the end goal with the YouTube is to collect revenue from people that don't know about RHT, have no interest in RHT, don't even know what a crypto is. That's the people we want visiting the site. And of course, you know, we have the daily updates. So those are very important for people that are serious about RHT and want to make sure that their money is safe. Go to Amazon here, nothing so far today yesterday did a lot better than we thought I thought we were gonna have like a dollar in here but ended up with a ten dollar and one cent and order revenue was three hundred and two dollars here's the snapshot for the United Rentals investment you can go in and vote on this voting ends on June 25th so far there's a uh, 9.3 thousand RHT on the yes side um so yeah go make your opinion heard on that look at our master book real quick we got uh 56 in goldman sachs 14 percent in united rentals coinbase is still 22 percent coinbase will go away uh stone corp will most likely go away Uninvested cash, we got, uh, actually this is a little wrong, we got like 800 some dollars. Um, I did add this, um, I had some people request that we have a small percentage in actual gold and silver. So I went and bought uh, 3 ounces of actual silver, worth 22.40 a piece, 67.20, see it makes up less than 1% of the portfolio at this point. Um, you know, honestly, I'm not really a big fan of actual silver and gold bullion uh, just because there's really no passive income with it but you know if the uh, RHG holders want that we can definitely do that um, I'm just gonna have you know one two percent I'd say max we're gonna have in actual gold and silver All right, so finally, the weekly dividend. All right, so AdMob was down a little bit, down to 261.30. And we are going to get a lot more involved with the AdMob and AdSense next week. I just didn't want to do it. I didn't want to show the AdMob because when I left SHIB and when I started RHT, there was like a two... Yeah, probably about a two-week gap, and 
the way that AdMob and AdSense displays things, it was it was going to look really goofy. It was going to look like I was, you know, not telling the truth about the numbers. Just because there's that two-week gap and AdMob is collecting for that, but we didn't start collecting on uh, uh, RHT until June 5th, so there's like uh, probably 10 days because it goes in 28 day cycles so there's probably like 10 days where we made that revenue but we didn't count it towards anything because I just wanted a nice clear cut this is the day everything starts so but yeah I'd say next week that 28 day cycle should be up and everything will line up so that's the reason I haven't showed that it would just create unnecessary FUD, I think, for people that don't understand what they're actually looking at. All right, so anyway, we got uh, AdSense, $5.33, slightly down from last week. Uh, $62.88 on Amazon, which is about half of last week. But remember last week, we had that massive day. It was like $62 or $65. So... But it still is above the first week, which is great. Did not have any music royalties. Got uh, 373 from stocks, 517 from upside, 318 from YouTube. For a grand total of 750 and 86 cents collected. For a payout of 375.43 down from last week but up from the first week which is always nice to see so the 703 will get cycled into the portfolio to hopefully make these numbers bigger on the next cycle and yeah um it was a solid week uh we did good could have done a little better but you know we're growing like i said next week's already shaping out pretty good um we're not even there yet and we already got $250 on next week and we should be able to get uh, about the same 300 to 400 on here upside will probably keep doing its thing YouTube that's a wild card that could be easily double triple quadruple what last week was but yeah just uh, you know keep playing bricks buster candy trips um, use that Amazon link I, I think that Amazon link is just so huge um, and yeah, I'll keep uh, pumping out uh, stuff on YouTube. We'll get some non-RHT holders to watch and generate revenue for us. And yeah, let's just keep spreading the word. We're doing great, guys. All right. Um, yeah, on Sundays, uh, or on Sunday, this reward will be available to collect. So yeah. All right. Everybody have a great weekend. Thanks. Bye.